Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Stellaris and taking control of the Vulpine Sovereignty in our little corner of the 800 star galaxy that we're playing in right now. We are still kind of exploring and, and expanding and we are planning on colonizing this Gaia world as soon as we can and I want to grab this chunk of space and really kind of block out uh, these guys from being able to do much and I think that's something I'm going to gun to do but we can't really do that right now with only a hundred uh, influence we need about 200 influence to drop another frontier outpost and if we want to colonize we need these are planet specific edicts okay we can do planet specific edicts I didn't even know that uh but we can't worry about those right now um if we wanted to we could build a colony ship for 350 minerals which is going to take some time uh, but probably worth doing at some point. Um, but let's go ahead and take our... Uh, s well, our science ship is actually just exploring over here. And our construction ship is back in Karanis, where he was building um, a... a uh, what do you call it? He was building a mine res and a research center as well. So, I don't know. Either we'll end up... I don't know. We could either drop an outpost early, which probably about here would be good, because we could probably cut them off fast. Or we could hold out and just colonize. But I feel like the colony may not be going anywhere anytime soon. We also have a few friends we can work with and possibly get them to be our allies over time. Uh, our embassy is at a maximum of 100. Now, if I recall the embassy, will it diminish? Recruitment of armies has been completed. All right, good, good, good. We had armies, uh, defensive armies going there. Um, is there anything else I can do for these guys, really, to help them out? Um, I would like them to be my friend. I could actually give them maybe civilian border access. Nah, they don't care too much. Guarantee independence. Uh, I don't really want to do that. Non-aggression pledge. Why don't we do a non-aggression pledge against them for 10 years? A 10-year non-aggression pledge? I don't feel like fighting them. How about these guys? Do these guys, are these guys into a non-aggression pledge? They don't like me very much. Uh... Excuse me? You want me to guarantee your independence and give you a non-aggression pledge? Uh... I, what? Are you unfriendly and equivalent? Um... I don't know. Why do you want a non-aggression pledge? I understand non-aggression pledge, but I'm not guaranteeing your independence. That is not going to happen. I understand you feel cornered in the galaxy, and you have every right to right now. Uh, they want the they want a non-aggression pledge and a guarantee of independence for a non-aggression pledge. Now it's suddenly there. I don't understand what's going on here. No, not happening. I don't know what the hell's happening, but it's, I'm not agreeing to any of it, so don't worry about it. All right, so I guess the best way to start making some money is to start really expanding here on the on the core worlds. I'd like this to be here, so I'm going to put you there. Um, we have one pop extra, and then the next person will end up getting food. And I could try and upgrade this. Not going to do us much good. How about the Lilat system? Let's check out Corneria here for a moment. And we have mines there and there. We have one pop of food left. This is where we manage all ground. I hate that you're still talking to me. <laughs> um... I can't upgrade this anymore, planetary administration. Mm hmm. Do I care to, what is this? Upgrade building. We can upgrade to an engineering facility. I don't understand, why would this be any better? Oh, it gives us one extra. I guess that could be good. I like how it actually automatically tells me I can upgrade it. I think I'm gonna save my money though, for now. And uh, just worry about this for a bit. And keep on exploring. I can't wait. So, I, yeah, I really can't wait to grab this colony planet. It's going to happen. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. How's our research looking as well? Decent. Uh, any special things? Oh, we're checking out the Zeta aliens, which is fine. Orbital mandate. Uh, research stations built. I would like to get more research stations, but I don't think I'm going to have any more research stations done before my president's uh, term comes to comes to end, unfortunately. What could I possibly do? Special project complete. Okay. 
So that was that. Zeta aliens. I guess that's it. Oh, there we go. Void clouds. A cloud, reads the odd report, collated from multiple sources, like a cloud of luminous star stuff billowing in the dark. The report goes on to refer to the phenomenon somewhat poetically as a void cloud. It is evident to the priesthoods of the Vulpine Sovereignty that these clouds are herald, heralds animated by some higher will. Exactly who or what this will belongs to is subject to a heated debate and is likely to remain so for the foreseeable future. Until such time as the void cloud's true nature can be ascertained, it would perhaps be prudent to treat the immense power evident in its rolling motion with some caution. That must be that speck thing that was attacking us. Conduit, divine or not, it must be studied. We must leave the matter to capable hands of our admirals. Uh, why don't we issue special? Let's let's do situation log. Updated. Let's research it and uh, keep on doing that. Now that's going to take up our physics, which is going to. But he's doing a physics lab. That's not a big deal. I'm all right with that. Unpause. Anomaly found. All right, let's send the research. Initial analysis of the asteroid's composition points towards potentially interesting finds. Do it up. Absolutely, get some research done. Okay, interesting. We could maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The frontiers of our empire are by no means final. Yes, yes, Frontier yes. Frontier outposts. They are not final, meaning they can attack, uh, take them if, if uh, they decide they want to try and push for this. They could try, and I don't think I like the thought of that. Uh, and we need three fifty to colonize. We have a lot of money, however. And I don't know what else I could spend, like, straight dollars on. Um, build a power plant for more money. I mean, we have a surplus of energy credits right now. Like, we are making energy credits hand over fist as it stands. I'd love to upgrade this at some point, but we don't have the opportunity to. It's really our mineral situation that's starting to lag behind. So if I could just build... Something to get our minerals out of there. That would be ideal. Why don't... You know, we have a surplus of money as it is. Let's send you here. We'll start taking this money in. And we'll gun for... We'll just start grabbing more minerals. So let's just start making more minerals. Let's drop a basic mine down here. Can't upgrade this quite yet. And when you pop, you'll make us more money. But again, I don't really need to worry about the money. We have a lot of... Energy credits, like I said, just kind of stored up. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and pop it to fast. Speed things along a little bit. How are you guys doing? Cordial? You don't really have any interest in joining an alliance. Surprisingly, these guys are still not ready to join an alliance. I don't know if there's anything else I could do. To help them. I'll give them a... We could do a research... Ooh, they don't want to do research agreement at all. I can give you money. You don't want it. Information? I can give you my star charts. What about your star charts? We'll trade star char charts again? Sure. Not that I think you're going to give me much, but I could give you a lot more information. And it has not... Helped at all. Okay. Uh, on the shoulders of giants. It appears that the asteroid O'Hare and the surrounding debris originates from a former planet. Deep within the center of the asteroids, we can find traces of extremely va valuable minerals. There's also hints of bacterial life that has now died in the vacuum of space. This shows us that the celestial body once bore the promise of life. Adds the X planet modifier plus five. Ooh, we get an X planet way out there. Damn. That's a, that is quite a, a distance, however. All right, you know what? I'm going to take you. I'm going to send you out to start surveying systems and just keep exploring. I think if we keep exploring, we'll be good. Project complete. The void clouds are stewards of the cosmos. Stewards of the cosmos. Once Vulpin astronomers knew what to look for, they found traces of the void clouds everywhere. Formed at the dawn of creation, they stood watch as stars were lit and young planets formed. Now they drift, quasi-conscious uh, agglomerations of inanimate matter that from the earliest hours of time itself afloat between dying stars and breaking worlds. They are a constant reminder that we are but a small part of something greater. Humbling. Modifier added giving the following effects. Plus five happiness. So people are going to be happier now because 
we swing down into Corneria. Spiritualist, grand design. Yep, we're much happier because we're like, hey man, everything exists for leave it, le reason, peace, love, and religion. Uh. And that's just kind of how it goes. Okay. Uh, not a ton of cash right now. If I can just, I just want to grab this area and start building more. If I'm going to build anywhere, it's going to be here. It's just we need to build another frontier outpost and we're not getting a ton of influence. Construction complete. Okay. So this is done building. So we're going to be bringing in a little bit more dollars now, which is nice. Any edicts I could do? Infrastructure projects. Man, these are so... I can't afford the influence right now. God damn. Not even close can I, can I afford the influence right now. Um, What do we got? We need more food, I guess. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to put you here because we're going to need more food. I could build a hydroponic farm just to ensure that we get more food too. Why don't we... Drop a basic hydroponic farm. Oh, we can't build any more than this? Oh, we don't have planetary administration. Which we System also survey need. Complete. We also need. Mm hmm. Okay, so you've gotten that done. Well, let's just move you here then. Um. Why don't we just wait and grab that colony ship and colonize this planet over here, this Gaia world, and make it our own? I think that's maybe our next best move. This is almost ours. Evading Whoop. hostile fleet. All right, fleet. we've got a hostile fleet here. They are the crystalline creatures. Noted, noted. Not gonna worry about them at all. Research complete. Is that that I needed to go through that? All right, defense platform. All right, good. New research. Ion thrusters. Uh, generate thrust without the need for propellant. Unlike mining network. Mining networks extract crucial minerals from the planet's crust, or ship type. Why don't we go with more mining for now? So now that that defense platform is done, am I able to build uh, a spaceport? Cannot build spaceport. An initial spaceport module is required. I don't understand. I'm, there's something I'm missing that we just don't have yet. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't think we Research have it yet. Complete. All right, physics lab is done. Colony development speed 25% faster. Blue laser for more damage. And power plant, power plant 2 for more energy. Um... Blue laser might be worth grabbing to keep ourselves at least ahead in uh, in power against these guys. And we're almost ready to build a colony ship. We can also upgrade to spaceport level two for more modules and allow construction of larger ships. Uh, that must be something we're gonna have to go to at some point too. But I think I'm gonna take a colony ship first. Cause I'm not really worried about aggressiveness from our neighbors right now. We have two very peaceful neighbors and one that is a little bit, you know, antsy and a little bit scary, but generally is fine. So we're going to drop a colony ship down. And once that colony ship is ready, we're going to send it off to this Gaia world. I just want this Gaia world. It just seems really fucking good to grab, so I might as well. Uh, what is this? Election is coming up. Mathis has most of the vote right now. So you are here. How would I get to there? You have to go through there. That is not going to happen. Why don't we send you up there? Oh, that's got to... And we, we're kind of locked in. We're kind of locked in right now. It sucks. But we might as well at least do... Survey... That. No. I need you to come here. So we're going to send you the long way around and just avoid this area for now. And uh, we'll start surveying this outer area. And maybe we'll come across another empire soon. 
I really wish you would just not be an ass. All right. If we recall our embassy, call our embassy from their capital planet, the relationship boost game from it will decay over time. Ah, okay. So we'll start losing our friendship points slowly. They're very much like EU4. You're cordial with us here. It's inevitable peace coexistence trading. And how about what do you consider friendly? Maybe willing to form an alliance with us. Uh, let's. This says no. They're not gonna do it. Giant Red X says they're. It's not gonna happen. Okay, that's fine. How's our ship coming along? We have detected the presence of a pre-space civilization on Verm Teberg. They're in an early industrial age with electricity and internal combustion engines gradually coming into widespread use. We should consider building an obs observation post above their world to study them more closely. So we've come across our first primitive species. Interesting. Whoa, what is going on? Oh, all right. Mathis has uh, once again been reelected, and I have failed last time. Science ship under attack. Okay, fucking relax. Where is this? Here? Evading hostile fleet. Okay, it's that goddamn space cloud again. Well, where was the other the other thing? The primitive species. I'm looking for the icon that represents primitive species, but I don't think any of these are them. Must be over here. This is literally just like a mining field for us. Is it over here? Okay, mm -hmm. Mathis is gonna stay. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it is, but we detect them and they're around, so. And it's not here. You're running. Where are you? It's wherever you are. You're way over here. Okay, here they are. So, let's see. They're an ocean world. They're an Avarian civilization. The civilization has advanced in the equivalent of an early industrial age, electricity, blah, blah, blah while urbanization increases at a rapid pace. So, like, bird-like creatures that are here. So, we could slap down an observation post and study them. I don't know if I'm allowed to, though. Yeah, it has to be within what is considered our borders. And this is a good chance these guys could pop into the space age before I can even get over there. That is very, very possible. Uh, and we'll have to keep a close eye to make sure that does not happen. Okay, you got beat up a little bit. I'm going to have you move to the Lilat system when you get a chance. I'm going to have Research you complete. Uh, heal up. So, tile blockers. Okay, so see this? Okay, this is Psy psionic theory, unlock Psy warriors. So every once in a while, you will find what is known as very rare technology. Uh, and that the um, rare technology is purple like epic in, in like a, a, an MMO. If we don't take this now, there is a good chance we never see this again. Psychic wolf race. I'm, I gotta take it. I got to take it. So what I'm gonna end up doing is taking this guy and moving him back home. And I'm gonna have him sit here and, and help uh, research, basically. And he's gonna get repaired in the process. Man, we're gonna be psionic wolves. That's cool. We're gonna be psychic. Psychic early on. I wonder what that even means. I wonder that mean, what that means for us. All right, where's my construction ship? Still there. I might drop a, an outpost over complete. here, man. It's serious. I might do it. Let's have you survey that system now. Psychic wolf creatures of space. Bring it on. Bring it on. That is really cool. I really want to drop a spaceport, but I can't do that research. Don't really have a spaceport. Hey. See, build a military station. Can be built anywhere in, the, in a star system to defend the area within its effective radius. Got it. Well, right now, just waiting to get a frontier outpost built. We don't have a terraforming station quite yet. We haven't we haven't researched terraforming. Uh, we're just waiting. How much longer? Our colony ship's almost done. We can get it over here. And then once we have 200 influence, we can drop another thing over here. Sooner rather than later, man. It'll be good. So, Incoming transmission. Ooh, trade deal offer. Yalon Commonwealth. 
star charts in exchange for star charts. The Yalan Commonwealth is what? You guys way over here. Uh, let's take a look real quick. We're paused. We're friendly. They are superior and neutral with us. Greetings, Vulp. You know what? Let's do it. Let's see what they know. Wow! They've been everywhere. They've just gone crazy everywhere. And they've no they've met no other civilizations? Really? Or maybe we don't know about them. Whoa. Uh, level up to level four. Level four. All right. I like it because now I know what... I don't know if these... Yeah. So I now know everything here. Why in God's name did he want to be my like friend? Like, why did he want that? What did he get from that? I'm going to establish an embassy with you. I'm going to send that out. Hopefully that'll help. Now my star charts are much better. Complete. All right. We're making a lot less money now. But that's okay, because we're going to take our wonderful colony ship. And we're going to this Gaia world. And we are colonizing the fuck out of this planet. Um, And, it, I mean, like, honestly, slapping it here might be really good for us, because we can help everything else around it. Let's do it. Oh, we're taking a Gaia world. Uh, Repairs completed. That's fine. Here we go, baby. We're gonna have ourselves a fucking Gaia world. I'm so excited about that. How's this going, Psy Warriors? 153 months remaining, Jesus. But Psy Warriors, like, that's awesome, man. How am I supposed to say no to that? I'll tell you how. You don't! You don't say no to psychic wolf creatures! <sighs> Alaska colony ship. All right, well. There he goes. Is he just, there we go. He's warping over. He's warping in. Do it up, baby. Enjoy that fucking guy world. No pushing us out now, you dicks. You bunch of dicks. I don't, that's all I got. Okay, let's see. Let's go with more. Let's clear. Clear, clear. Let's just open up this world completely for us. Spend a lot of minerals doing it, but it's gonna work out nicely. Now I think, I don't know, do they do any building or just kind of, they just land? I think they just land. Are they gonna, is it, are they uh, doing anything? Oh, they are, they are actually doing something. Boom. System survey complete. Anomaly Whoa, found. hold up. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. Research it, please. So now, these guys, 13 months of sucking us dry for a little bit, and then they'll Research land. complete. And we finished researching mining network two. Ceramo metal armor. Mass drivers and projectile defense module. This is what we need, because we need to be able to build starports around our colonies to protect them. That's what I need right now. So, that's fine. Absolutely A-OK -okay with that. How about we build some more... Well, how about the next thing we do is upgrade this thing to a spaceport level 2. I think I'd like to do that. Pop this as a spaceport. Uh, League Prison Complex. The ruins of a large prison complex have been discovered on Kibben uh, 6. This hostile world seems to have served as some kind of maximum security penal colony in the First League. As a federal facility, the prison houses con convicted felons from across all of League space. Surviving records indicate most of the prisoners were guilty of piracy, terrorism, and other crimes of extraordinary nature. Fossilized remains from some prisoners can still be found within the cells. Situation so we have a new log updated. The new thing here. Uh, skill 5 is 4 higher. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and drop that immediately and make that happen. It's gonna stop him from researching, I think, temporarily while we research the penal colony, but we might as well. All right, good stuff. Now this colony is gonna be dropping slowly over time. It's gonna be working out nicely for us. Well, how's our colony over here? We'll be able to actually build a spaceport soon. Okay. I can just click on Corneria. It's 
way easier doing it that way. I'm learning slowly over time. I'm gonna put you here for when you pop. Oh, well, we can do some upgrades. Upgrade building to physics lab, which will give us more physics, or the engineering facility. And then we got mining network two, which I definitely, I definitely want. It's an investment. Why don't we drop more engineering? Upgrade those. How you guys doing over here? Still not terribly happy, I see. With us. That's fine. I accept that. Let's go ahead and build maybe another Corvette. Spend some money on that as well. I know we were getting close to leveling up, but I'm going to hold off for a bit. Um, and leveling up, I mean, our leveling up our star system here. These guys have gone fucking everywhere. So you're just you're just doing the researching project that we have going on for our, what the 180 days. Okay. Construction complete. So right now these guys like us the best, and I don't know why. New contact, border friction, but we're both xenophiles. All right, our embassy, their embassy. All right, that's fine. Let it go. Science ship is almost done. Special project complete. Okay, the archaeological mission to Kibben 6 has uncovered evidence of what appears to be a failed escape attempt some distance south of the prison complex. A toppled utility vehicle from the prison was found behind a small cliff, and several kilometers beyond that remains as several prisoners in stolen pressure suits were huddled together. They seem to have died of asphyx asphyxiation when the oxygen supply in their suits ran out. For whatever reason, the prison authorities evidently saw no reason to collect the bodies. An interesting find. Plus one, First League artifacts recovered. So, that special project is slowly working. We have one out of six uh, for this precursor civilization that existed. Which I find interesting as hell. They had the League, the Federation of the First League. Alright, Shambhala, slowly making itself available. Almost done milking us for what we have, though we have quite the backup, or quite the stock of uh, complete. good stuff there. Small blue lasers are done. Assist research, physics output. For each scientist level, the planet gains. For each scientist level? Oh shit. That would be really good for us, because we start with pretty powerful leaders. Let's go ahead and do that. Absolutely, go ahead and do that. Uh, neutral fleets, placid leviathans. Those are the gas grazers that we researched a, quite a while ago. How are we looking over here? They're almost done. Stacking up on the minerals. Just letting time tick on by. And I'm going to drop a, an outpost over here soon and take all of this if I can. Now this we can't really do much in because there was uh, some alien assholes in there but it will be within our territory regardless so that's nice we're almost at enough influence we don't gain a lot but we're recovering from the amount we spent on the other frontier outpost that we dropped and taking this this freaking Gaia world was so worth it so 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 worth it we could drop it here actually and we probably would be good enough why don't we put it over here I think that's smarter for us. Because I think it'll reach and connect with the planets that I want regardless. So once we have enough, we can drop one. We actually just need influence. Alright, our colony's down, baby! There it is! Beautiful! And we're already dropping pops! So why don't we drop a pop right there on the food plus minerals. We have four extra to spare, and I think we might have to focus on these in particular. But hey, colony has been established, baby. It's ours. We have detected the presence of, of a primitive alien civilization on Omax Ikadib. They are presently in what could be just considered a late medieval age, with a firm grasp of metallurgy and a feudal society. The printing press is accelerating the spread of knowledge. 
Well, that's super fucking far away, so there's really no need. No primitive species in this general area. There might be one here, but the fucking crystal aliens don't give a shit and do not want to share at all. I desperately want more influence. There's got to be a better way to gain some influence. But none that I'm aware of. I just need to wait and slowly gain it. I wish you guys would be our damn alliance with us. I would trade star charts with you guys, but it's just not going to happen. I don't think I can really drop into an alliance with you because you're so far away. Minus 25. Actually, they they don't care how far away they are. They are superior in power, however, which would be great in an alliance, but they don't care too much. Construction complete. What did we build? Oh, okay, just some more ship power for us. Okay. Soon we'll have this done. We can wait every month, what, two more months? Yeah, two more months and we'll be good. Okay, one more month. And we're making money now again, which is very nice. Come on. Just waiting for the end of the month. Let's start moving him towards the star. Aha. Do it. Spend our influence. Expand our borders. Make us proud. We're going to be the biggest empire in this area, really. And there's not much they can do about it. Which is great for us. System survey complete. Okay, thank you for doing that. Now, what's next? How about we go over here, survey this system. And you are just going to build away and expand our borders very nicely. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we have three planets now. I love it. Uh, we have no governor. We need to hire another governor. Recruit a governor. Oh, we have no influence to recruit a governor because I'm dumb. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, you're going to be governor free for now. It's all right, though. We could pull the governor out of over here, but I don't think it really matters. I think these guys are doing well. I would like to get a new governor, but we need more influence for it to happen. Once we have more influence, I can hire one. And it just means the next election, maybe Mathis won't be the one to uh, to take it, unfortunately. Which would be a shame. Okay. Almost done with the mass driver and projectile defense module, which means we can actually build a starport. Which is very good for us. Research complete. Okay, so we can now build the defense module. Robots, auto cannon, and ion thrusters. I don't know. This ion thrusters keeps showing up, so I feel like it's weighted to show up for now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the ion thrusters. If we pop into here... Actually, the ship builder. If we take a look at the R-wing... Is there anything new? We could drop some deflectors on it. And blue lasers and mass drivers. These electromagnetic projectile launchers use magnets to accelerate armor-piercing rounds towards targets at high speed. So we definitely want to fix this all up. So we only have three slots. So we have blue lasers, which we definitely want to replace, at least. And maybe, like, deflectors? Do we want to drop deflectors? We need new power, though, so we're going to need to pop at least one of these two of these in. So we can get a bunch of blue lasers. Why don't we get one mass driver at least in there? That's going to save us 3 to 5, 6 to 12, 3 to 15. So wider spread. But why don't we do it like that? Save, yes. Alright. So now we can take you. No upgrade available. I don't understand. It's, it's a pretty decent upgrade available. I don't know. I don't get it. What is this? Come on. Oh, combat computer. Drop a gr that in there. 
Ship mounted gravitic sensor is done. Save it. Yes. So why can't you guys upgrade? There we go. Drop a ton of minerals, but really upgrade our fleet to make it pretty powerful. Scanning the star unveils a small object in rapid orbit. It's small size and high velocity make it difficult for sensors to isolate. Well, grab it while you can. Now, was there a science ship in here? There is a science ship in here. We should be upgrading the ship. So if we auto-complete the ship, it'll basically just upgrade everything. So we should definitely save this. Uh, that's the science ship. That's the R-Wing. What is this? Defense platform. We'll have that auto-completed for now, just because I don't really know. Auto-complete this. Save it. Yes. We're going to have to start upgrading all of our ships. Well, once they're all done, we can. We'll go ahead and upgrade you. Yeah, we're running around with kind of outdated technology, as I'm starting to realize... We did all this research, and we haven't actively upgraded our ships in the process. Which is a definite problem. Alright, we're out of time for this episode. We're going to wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, come back next time for some more Stellaris. And consider dropping a like. Your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.